In this video, we will talk about the anatomy of wrist joint. What is a wrist joint? The wrist joint is also known as radiocarpal joint because it connects the lower end of radius to proximal carpal bones of the hand, scaphoid, lunate and tricuspid bones. It is an ellipsoid variety of synovial joint. Anatomy of the wrist joint. Following points will be discussed in the anatomy of wrist joint. Articular surfaces, bones involved, joint capsule, synovial membrane, ligaments of wrist joint, muscles of wrist joint, nerve supply, blood supply. Number 1. Articular surfaces of wrist joint. Following surfaces join together to form the wrist joint. Superiorly, lower end of radius, articular disc of inferior radio ulnar joint, inferiorly, scaphoid, lunate, tricuspid bones. Number 2. Bones involved in wrist joint. Following bones form the wrist joint, radius. It is the larger of the two forearm bones, forming the majority of the wrist joint articulation, ulna. It is the smaller forearm bone, which articulates with the radius but not directly with the carpal bones, carpal bones. These are eight small bones arranged in two rows, proximal row, scaphoid, lunate, trictrum, and pisiform, distal row, trapezium, trapezoid, capitate, and homate. Number 3. Joint capsule of wrist joint. It is a fibrous capsule that surrounds the wrist joint. It provides stability and enclosing the joint space. It is attached superiorly to the lower ends of radius, and ulna. It is attached inferiorly to the proximal row of carpal bones. Number 4. Synovial membrane of wrist joint. It is the inner lining of the joint capsule, that secretes synovial fluid, to lubricate the joint. Number 5. Ligaments of wrist joint. There are three types of ligaments of wrist joint. Palmar ligaments, dorsal ligaments, collateral ligaments, palmar ligaments of wrist joint. On the palmar aspect of wrist, there are two types of ligaments, palmar radiocarpal ligament. It connects the radius to the carpal bones. On the palmar side, these carpal bones are, scaphoid, lunate, and tricuspid bones, palmar ulnocarpal ligament. It connects the ulna to the carpal bones. On the palmar side, these carpal bones are, lunate, and tricuspid bones, dorsal ligaments of wrist joint. On the dorsal aspect of wrist, there is only one dorsal ligament, dorsal radiocarpal ligament. It connects the radius to the dorsal surface of the carpal bones. These carpal bones are, scaphoid, lunate and tricuspid bones, collateral ligaments of wrist joint. There are two collateral ligaments, one is on lateral side of wrist, and the other is on medial side of wrist, radiocollateral ligament. It is on the lateral side of wrist. It extends from the radial styloid process to the lateral side of scaphoid bone, providing lateral stability. It is related to radial artery, ulnar collateral ligament. It is on the medial side of the wrist. It extends from the ulnar styloid process, S to the trictrum, and pisiform, providing medial stability. Number 6. Muscles of wrist joint. Important muscles of wrist joint are flexor muscles extensor muscles, other muscles, flexor muscles. The main flexor muscles of wrist are, flexor carpi radialis, flexor carpi ulnaris, palmaris lungus, extensor muscles. The main extensors of wrist are, extensor carpi radialis lungus, extensor carpi radialis brevis, extensor carpi ulnaris, other muscles. Other important muscles of wrist are, flexor digitorum superficialis, flexor digitorum profundus, extensor digitorum, extensor pollicis lungus and brevis, abductor pollicis lungus. Number 7. Nerve supply of wrist joint. Following nerves supply the wrist joint, anterior interosseous nerve, posterior interosseous nerve. Number 8. Blood supply of wrist joint, radial artery. It supplies the lateral aspect of the wrist and hand, ulnar artery. It supplies the medial aspect of the wrist and hand, anterior interosseous artery. It supplies the deep muscles of the forearm and wrist, posterior interosseous artery. It supplies the extensor muscles of the forearm and wrist. Clinical significance of wrist joint, following are common pathologies of wrist joint, fractures. Common fractures include, distal radius fractures, Cole's fracture, and, scaphoid fractures, carpal tunnel syndrome. 
it is the compression of the median nerve, as it passes through the carpal tunnel, causing pain and numbness, de Quervain stenosynovitis. It is the inflammation of the tendons, on the thumb side of the wrist, wrist sprains. It is the stretching or tearing of ligaments, due to trauma, arthritis. It is the degenerative changes in the wrist joint, leading to pain and reduced mobility.